This quote was in the news the other day. If I had a son, I'd have to think long and hard before I'd let him play football. When President Obama spoke those words recently, he echoed a growing fear showed by, shared by many parents across the country as concern rapidly escalates over the long-term effects of taking hits to the head on the football field. It's given rise to an industry aimed at softening those blows. But can new technology really prevent dangerous concussions? Here's a Nightline investigation. Are you ready for some football? Are you ready for some concussions? Head injuries and their potential lifelong consequences are the biggest threat to America's gridiron heroes. Concern is mounting at every level, the NFL, colleges, even high school. There's definitely that fear every single time he goes out there and plays. You wonder. Jennifer Brannon's son, Tyler, is one of the stars of the Woodbridge Warriors. He wants to play. And, you know, as a mom, you may want to put bubble wrap around him and, and protect him forever, but that's not going to happen. Concussions are the most common injury among high school football players. So Jennifer, president of the Warriors Booster Club, decided to do something. She raised money to buy the team helmet inserts made by unequal technologies for added protection. It's all part of a sort of cottage industry that sprung up to cater to worried parents. Unequal Technologies, one of the highest profile players in this new market, described its product explicitly as Concussion Reduction Technology, or CRT. It's a liner, a strip of composite material including bulletproof Kevlar. You stick it inside the helmet. I couldn't tell you what's in it. All I know is it, it, it works. That's James Harrison of the Pittsburgh Steelers, one of the hardest hitting guys in the NFL. Stay. Unequal Technology's sales pitch rests heavily on his endorsement and other pro players. Almost like uh, having Novocaine, you don't actually feel the pain, you just feel pressure. Rob Vito is the founder and CEO of Unequal Technologies. These athletes need to take control of their own safety. He says he worked with scientists to create a military-grade composite material. We always wanted to stand behind our products and know that it actually works. And you're actually standing behind the product. <laughs> that can protect athletes from all sorts of injuries, from head to toe. He's eager to show us how strong it is. Harder! The guy would have you believe it's his magical material. There's nothing magical about it. Dave Halstead is an engineer, a technical director at the Southern Impact Research Center, one of the leading testing labs for sports equipment in the nation. Among many other things, he tests helmets, lots of helmets. For so many parents whose sons want to play football, they are looking for that device, that add-on, that helmet that will protect their children. Correct. Is it out there? It is not. Absolutely is not. Here's the problem. The modern football helmet already offers excellent protection against direct linear hits. Football without helmets would be catastrophic. All right, my Ooh. severity index is 2,909. Wow. He's dead. He's dead, he's got a skull fracture. But doctors believe many football concussions today are caused by shearing rotational forces when the head snaps back and swerves around on the neck and the brain slams against the inside of the skull. There is no proof that products like unequal technology strips protect against those injuries. Halstead's testing did show that the unequal strips can reduce the severity of linear direct impacts from some angles, but not from others. But even Rob Vito acknowledges he cannot prove that reduces the risk of concussions. My question is on concussions. And for parents out there, does this product reduce the risk of concussion? No. No. We can't make that claim at this point. It's too early on. So you say concussion reduction technology. Is that what you're doing? Our claim is that we help reduce the uh, possibility of head injury. That's our claim. We never mention the word concussion. Concussion reduction technology. Exactly. That's the name of the product. Don't you think calling it concussion reduction technology, if it doesn't reduce concussions or you can't make that claim scientifically, is wrong? Uh, there may be some confusion. There's a product called Muscle Milk that contains no milk. But you're claiming that it reduces concussions, or that's the name of your product. Mm -hmm. It doesn't, though. We're not claiming that. 
even though your product is called concussion reduction technology. Correct, but we're not claiming that. The only th one is a name and one is a claim. And, I, and, and our claim is that we help reduce the possibility of head injury. After our interview, Unequal Technology sent us what they say will be their new packaging for their product. The words concussion reduction technology have been removed. For so many football players, the risk is real. Players and parents want answers. But right now, they aren't out there. That magic bullet that if you just do this, you can continue to play the way you are and you're immune from injury. It, it just doesn't work. 